Hello Level Friends, this week we talk about if something is filled or blank, how to validate a race and where a new eloquent method overlaps with MySQL. Let's go! First we have a nice addition to the blank and fill helpers. In Laravel we have a blank and a fill help. So let's try out the blank one first, check if this string is blank, which is false, and is this filled? Let's use the other helper, which is true, which is cool. But now this didn't work before when we used the string helper here. And the reason is if we're going to return something here, like this, you can see that this actually is a stringable object and we have to cast this to a string. But now when we check this, you can see this will also work. So is it filled? It's true. And if we make this empty now, like this, this is not filled, this is blank, and this is true. So now you can use also stringable objects with the blank and fill helper. Thank you, Stefan. Then validating arrays is now so much better. So here's the deal. We have this submitted data, maybe from a form. And we have the user, and here we have Paulina from the level team. And now we want to validate this user key of the data. So what we can do in level is we can say we want this to be an array, because it is an array, and that's why this is true. Let's put this down here. All right, but what we can also can do here is we can say we want an array with a name and an email field. Run this, this is also true, perfect. But sometimes you can't just provide these values here, sometimes they come from somewhere else. So for example, in our example here, we have a user fields enum. And there we have a name, we need to get the value. And then let's make sure we have the correct format. I think like this, yeah, user fields again. And now email, and we also have to get the value. Let's run this, this is also true, but you can see how this is getting now quite messy, especially if we have more values than just two here. So there's something new in level which you can do. So let's get rid of this here. Let's bring this up here. So we have a new rule which is called array. And here we can just provide the two values which we need here, email and the enum. And I think that's already it. No, we need to close this. I think like this here, here we go. And you can see we're now providing them here directly to the method or we could also provide an array. So this will also work, but this is now how you can define a rule for an array and also define the fields in a yeah, more nicer way than you could use before. Thank you, Jakob. And last, I have a new eloquent method for you that comes handy when dealing with JSON columns. I do have three different podcasts here. Let's see what we have. They have a languages field and they are in specific language like this one, English and French. The next one is only in German. And the third one is only in French. All right. And in level, what we can do, there's a method called where JSON contains. You provide the field, which is a JSON field, languages in this case. And then here, let's say we want to get all of them which are in English. And I'm just going to plug the title so that we have a little bit more space here. All right. And we can see only the first one here. Again, I have set the language also inside the title, so it's easier to see the first one is in English. If you want to get now the ones which are French, we get both of them because yeah, we have in this one and in this one. But if I say I want to get all the podcasts where it's either French or English, you can see this is now not working anymore because we only get the first one. So JSON contains for this exact data here. So we need this and this. But now there's something new in Lava which we can use, which is called where JSON overlaps. Let's run the same thing here and you can see now we get both of them. I can also do just French and we also should see two here because yeah, the French language we have for the first and the second one. So it's similar to the where JSON contains, this is also a native MySQL method, so this doesn't work with other drivers. But yeah, if you want to, if you're a fan of where JSON contains, you're probably also a fan of where JSON overlaps. And as you can see, this can be quite useful. Thank you, Benjamin. That's already it for this week. Please let me know in the comments which feature you like the most and see you the next time. Bye.